coming to you. I'm coming to you. You're All right. <laughs> okay, here we are at Walker Stalker Con with Melissa Hudson. How are you today? I'm doing great. I'm having an awesome, awesome day. Awesome. Um, so we're big fans of The Walking Dead, big fans of Clementine in particular. How would you describe her? Would you describe her as a good girl, bad girl? How would you describe her? Oh, she's a good girl. She's a good girl, but in season two, she's got some sass. There's, you know, she's going through even more horrible stuff and, you know, hanging out with some characters and uh, picking up some of their habits but uh, no she's a good kid all around like when I developed a voice for her the, the backstory that I imagined is that she just comes from a really solid family with a good parents good background smart kid you know plays Scrabble with her dad on Saturday night that kind <laughs> of a kid opposite of probably what I was but um, yeah well I asked because she's going around with all these different strangers who have said come join us that's why I ask if she's really a good a good kid or not. Um, the strangers? You mean like, with, in like season beginning with Lee to oh, being adopted, well, almost adopted by Kenny? Yeah, I mean, in in season one, the connection with Lee that was just kind of a you know that was a really hard time. She'd been up in her treehouse with her zombie babysitter in the <laughs> kitchen or wherever she was, you know. So finding Lee was immediately like, I think that was her first connection with a survivor. And like, shit, get me out of here. You know, <laughs> you gotta help me, dude. Um, but then, you know, yeah, with Kenny, that I really liked the fact that they brought him back for season two. I love Kenny. A lot of people don't, I do. Mm -hmm. So tell me about a Gavin Hammond story. Because we've interviewed him before. Oh, and you yeah, said, you said you're good friends with Gavin. him. So tell us a story that nobody knows or that maybe not, may not know as much. Uh, random fact, Gavin and I are in a band together. He plays drums. He's a drummer. He's an awesome drummer. Okay. And so uh, we do like 80s covers. It's just local. It's in the Bay Area called the San Leandroids. <laughs> and I started singing with him. That's a pretty random fact. Very cool. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, we, we hang out all the time. He's, we're, we've been, I've known him for years and years. Okay. And we've worked together on other things as well. So. Okay. What's some other things you've worked on together with? I don't know. Uh, I mean, we've done like random commercials together, other, okay. other games, um, what am I forgetting? Oh, in uh, Fables, The Wolf Among Us, yes. I'm Beauty, he plays Beast. Yes, there We're you married. go. <laughs> it's a very incestual world, this uh, voiceover character stuff. Mm -hmm. You mentioned in your panel that you actually have played the games. Um, what kind of games do you generally like to play? Is it mostly just the ones that, you, that you've appeared in, or any sort of genres? The only games I play, and this isn't like some, like, I'm, you know, I, I am not a gamer. I am not a gamer. Most of the games I'm in, I just am like, oh, yeah, I think I was in that game. Uh, I like Telltale games just because of the choose-your-own-adventure style. It's like watching an animated series. Like, I can totally get down with that. Mm -hmm. If it's, it has to do with pushing X and Ys and Bs and Ds and I don't know, sticks and things, mm -hmm. I'm done. I can't. I'm like, I'm out. We're pulling for Clementine to be the main character in the Walking Dead spin-off series. Okay, and awesome. you mentioned if if the, if the video game ends, maybe that's where your character can continue. I would be psyched. I mean, <laughs> Robert Kirkman's world is probably like, oh, what have I done? There's so much crossover. And I don't know if, uh, if the game characters would ever make it into the show or a show. If it was a spin-off, it could, it, I could see that just because it wouldn't necessarily be based on the comic. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, it would be really cool. It would be really cool, but on the other end, I'd be a little bummed because then I wouldn't be Clementine anymore. <laughs> so in order for that to happen, I would like demand that I be there on set working with this actress, and then I get to at least play like a, another zombie walking by. I'm like obsessed <laughs> with becoming a zombie walking by. Okay. It's well, like my thing. We'll, we'll be pulling for that as well. Yeah. Have you started work on season two for The Wolf Among Us yet? They haven't even heard. Okay. They haven't even announced. I don't know if they will. I don't even know if they're making a season two. I think it would be a huge mistake if they didn't. Uh, but uh, I think they will. The game did, did, did such an awesome game. Mm -hmm. So hopefully they will. How would you describe the differences between the two series? Wolf Among Us is almost more like noir. You know, it's mm -hmm. just like, you know, that seedy, dark New York City, you know, vibe. The animation is so beautiful. The characters are so cool. Um, the Walking Dead, I mean, it's The Walking Dead. It's heavy, it's sad, it's all around depressing. <laughs> and, and just the storyline, though, I mean, on both games, it's, it's the storytelling that makes them both. And, uh, I'm just so 
so grateful to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have any other upcoming projects about to come out or anything that you're currently working on that we can promote? Um, like Sunday Con. <laughs> I don't know. I just did, some, I did something really cool, but I'm not allowed to talk about it. Of course. Soon, one day. Um, yeah, hopefully, you know, season three. And uh, I am on a animated series called The Space Racers that came out this year, and that's know hoping for a season two of that and uh, you probably hear me everywhere all the time and I can't think of like one thing right now <laughs> that's okay your yeah. social media how do we find you uh, on Twitter I'm at Melly Hutch M-E-L-Y-H-U-T-C-H and I do have a Facebook page it's Melissa Hutchison B-O okay very yeah. good and last question the series you watch the TV series yes, I do. Where do you where do you think the series will go next after Terminus <laughs> Where it'll go? Where do you hope it'll go? It's so weird. It's The Walking Dead. I don't know. I mean, another another compound that doesn't like eat people. Um, I have no idea. Okay. I have no theory on that. I'm just kind of going for the ride on that one. I'm glad that that we're getting some. You know, I'm not trying to spoil anything, but seeing the characters get back together is good. Hopefully they'll stick together, and hopefully the ones that we really love won't die. Excellent. But there's no guarantee. Very good. Well, yeah. thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank <laughs> you.